This is question number eight. It says here are the first four terms of an arithmetic sequence. 3, 10, 17 and 24. In part A for two marks, it says find in terms of n an expression for the nth term of this arithmetic sequence. You certainly don't have to, but I always like to draw a little table and then work out the nth term. Arithmetic simply means it's going up by a fixed amount each time. So if we look at the terms, we've got 3, we've got 10, we've got 17, and we've got 24. So the first one is going to be 3, the second is 10, the third one is 17, and the fourth one is 24. We can see that this is going up by 7 each time, which is adding 7. So my first part of my nth term is going to be 7 n. If I do 7 times by 1, that's going to give me 7. I need to subtract 4 to get 3. So it's 7n minus 4. I can see that's going to work for the second one. 7 times by 2 is 14. Minus 4 is going to give me 10. So we can write down 7n minus 4. As stated, the table certainly isn't required, but it might help out. In part B for 2 marks, it says, is 150 a term of this sequence? You must explain how you got your answer. OK, if we set this up then, 7n minus 4 must be equal to 150. If 150 is in this sequence, n will be an integer. So 7n, adding 4 to both sides, will give us 154. Dividing both sides by 7, we've got 154 over 7. That gives me that n is equal to 22. We can say now n is an integer, so n is an integer. Therefore, and I'm going to use the sign for therefore, 150 is in the sequence, is in the sequence. And I'm even going to write that it's the 22nd term. We don't need to, but I'm just going to state that anyway. So 22nd term. So all I've done is solve the equation and shown that n is an integer.